Good afternoon, everybody. Meteorologist Carson Vickroy here. Temperatures out in front of this cold front were relatively warm. 20s and 30s with the exception of West Yellowstone at 18 degrees, but behind it, much colder air is on the way. And as a result of that, blowing snow is possible for Homestake Pass and McDonald Pass with a little bit of snow falling as well. But I'm more concerned with the cold, as you can see, just to our north, we have wind chills that could drop to 30 to 40 degrees below zero. Now, why is all this cold air happening? Well, that jet stream is well down to our south, which means through at least Monday, that cold Canadian air is going to settle in, and we're going to see temperatures struggle to get into the teens. We're talking about highs in the single digits over the next couple of days at least. But what this also does is most of those storm systems we see out in the Pacific Ocean, they tend to track to our south when we have this kind of setup. Now we do have a cold front that will increase our snow chances as we head through tonight and tomorrow morning as you can see. It's right on our doorstep so here in the next couple of hours we're going to see some snowfall pickup and also cold temperatures. The temperatures are going to be dropping so on and off snow are possible through at least 10 o'clock tonight. We're still dealing with some lingering snow showers through tomorrow morning but that cold air continues to be in place and that will be the story as we head throughout the day tomorrow yes there could be the potential for a few flurries and light snow showers but that's not my biggest concern we're going to see temperatures tomorrow afternoon likely in the single digits for most areas we'll have more updates here in a few minutes